All right, Pisces. How does this... Let's see, Pisces. How does this Aries feel about you in love and romance, Pisces? How does this Aries feel about you in love and romance? There's no timing on this reading, you guys. Okay. How does this... When you see this, you'll... You'll get the message that you need to get. How does this Aries feel about you in love and romance? So, you know, some of you guys will be seeing this now. Okay, for some of you guys, this could be past, present, future energy. Okay, for some of you guys, this is what Pisces is doing to Aries. Aries is doing to Pisces. Switch the damn reading around. Whatever works for you, okay? I'm reading this from Pisces' perspective, though. Pisces, how does this Aries feel about you in love? Okay, so I feel like this person is wanting your attention or wanting some type of victory here with you, Pisces. Okay. Their overall energy of you is the Queen of Wands. This person is obviously very much attracted to you. Um, I feel like they're very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you. Their story is the Seven of Swords, so here. Okay, so their overall energy. This person is very attracted to you. I feel like they are very passionate about you. They may want passion here with you, but the story is a seven of swords. So I feel like there's a lot, like, there's a lot of things that this person may, may not be saying to you. They may not be telling you. I feel like, you know, they kind of like, um, they say one thing and it's like, it's really weird. I feel like they could be very convincing. Okay. They could be very convincing, very, what's the word? They may want you to follow something up that they're saying to you, okay? But they may not be saying everything, but they're trying to get away with something. It's almost like someone's trying to convince you to be to be into them or passionate about them as much as they're passionate about you. Yes, they are desire you. Yeah, they have passion for you, but they are being deceptive. They are being sneaky. It's almost like they're trying to get you to um, move the way they want you to move or feel the way they want you to feel or do what it is that they want you to do here. Their story is, is that they are kind of being very sneaky or very deceptive about their words and what they're communicating and what they're saying here. They're doing this. It's almost like they're giving information and saying one thing, but leaving something out because they want you to, they want you to uh, feel, uh, they want you to look at them a certain way or feel a certain way about them. Yeah, what are they thinking when it comes to you, the Ten of Cups? Yeah, so this could be like a family situation. You know, maybe you have a family with this person. Maybe this might be your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your brother, your cousin, um, someone you have a family with, children with. But they're thinking about a broken family here with you. Um, some of them are really wanting to sneak back in. So just be mindful that someone may be wanting to sneak back into um, some type of broken family, a broken situation. And it's like they will do or say whatever it is that they need to say in order for you to be passionate about them again. How do they feel deep down inside about you as a six of swords? So I feel like whoever this person is, they want to kind of move past something. They want to move towards common waters here with you. Um, I feel like this person may really want to communicate, talk to you. They may really want to persuade you or get you to um, follow something that they're saying. Okay. They want to move towards common waters. There may have been like um, a lot of like, you know, disagreements here with you and this person. There could have been a lot of like um, petty arguments or some type of, yeah, disagreement here when it came to communication. Things were said, uh, you know, things could have been like revealed. I just kind of feel like this person, you need to be cautious with this person because I feel like this person here, um, they're still very much deceptive. Outside influencing how this person feels about you is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the way they're coming towards you is the Nine of Wands. So this person is still very much, you know, this is somebody here who kind of like wants you to believe everything that they're saying here. And when you don't believe what they're saying, they get more, they get, uh, they get angry, they get upset, they get more aggressive. They feel like, you know, the world is against them. Their back is against the wall. So they're still very much um, coming towards you as a wounded warrior, but it's all fake. Like it's not, I want to say it's all fake, but it's just all, it's like, it's like a, it's all a front, okay? It's all a front here, Pisces. This, this Aries here is fronting, okay? They're like, they're putting up a front and you need to know that they're putting up a united front. They're putting up some type of front here. And I feel like outside influencing how they feel, the eight of pentacles, I feel like this person really does not, they're not really putting in the work or they're not really making some, like putting in the effort here. They're not really wanting to work or putting the, put in the effort, okay? Almost like they don't care to put the energy or the time or the effort of something into this situation. The harder how they feel about you, see the king of wands in reverse. That's what I'm saying. See, this person is still... <laughs> This Aries here, the harder how they feel about you is the king of wands in reverse. So honestly, they're still like playing games or wanting to play some type of games here with you. 
um, I feel like they're not taking you as seriously as you may be taking them or, or, you know, it's just that this person here is a player. You know what I'm saying? They say one thing, they do another. Um, this It feels like it's a game to them and they put up a lot of fronts here with you. So they're fronting, okay? They're putting up a front and they're fronting here with you, Pisces. Be mindful of this person because, like I said, some so, so some of you guys, this person, they, are desi they do desire you and they are passionate about you. Um, but at the same time, you have to be mindful with this person because... This is somebody here who may still want to, like, they want to do what they want to do. They want to go how they want to go. They want to, you know, they're, they're moving the way that they want to move here, okay? What's the, how are they coming towards you next? Yeah, Three of Cups, a reunion. Yeah, be mine. Pisces, I feel like this person... We'll be having a reunion here with you, but I feel like with the King of Wands here, I feel like this person here will still be like very much um, entertaining another person, you and another person. Like you know, they're gonna they're gonna do what they want to do, how they want to do, with who they want to do it. They're gonna see who they want to see. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing you. Yeah, you know, I have a family with you. Yeah, you know, you're you're the person who I am with, but you're not the only person that I'm seeing type of energy. Or yeah, I said this to you, or I'm saying this to you. But I mean something totally different or I'm going to do something totally different from what I'm saying to you. There's still a lot of sneakiness here, a lot of lies and a lot of deception here. They're still like being very deceptive, like, you know, being cheating or entertaining other people, entertaining other women outside of their, their, their home, outside of their the relationship, outside of the, the family. And I do not feel like they're putting a lot of effort into this, okay? I don't, I do not feel like they're trying to fix this or, you know, they're trying to work on something here. I just kind of feel like they're just trying to like, just get out the conversation or move the conversation forward the way that they see fit. And they want you to kind of move. They want you, they want to have victory here with you. So they kind of really want you to just follow them up. They want you to follow and move the way they want you to move, period. Like, why don't you just do what I tell you to do? They want you to do what they tell you to do. And they feel like with the King of Wands in reverse, they feel like you may not be submissive. The King of Wands in reverse is how they feel about you. They feel like you may be being arrogant. You may not be being submissive to them. Um, you know, they may want, yeah, that's what they feel. Okay. What's the cards that I need to get to Pisces in regards to this person? Okay. Some of you guys, there may be like a marriage or a commitment. You may be married or committed to this person. There may be some type of um, contract. Yeah, we have to stay optimistic about your love life and release your ex here. So I feel like whoever this person is, honestly, Pisces. Okay. The time has come for you to clear your energy. <clears throat> I feel like this person feels like they think that I feel like they want you to, they want, they want you to feel optimistic about a situation with them. They want you to believe something. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. They want you to believe what they're saying. They want you to believe that, you know, that they have released someone or a situation. They want you to believe that they're no longer, uh, they no longer have something or someone in their energy. And um, I am hearing that that may be true for now. Like something may be out the energy for now, but it's not going to be like that for long because it, because there's still deception here. They're still lying and they're going to go back to being the same way or being the same way or th there's like something about their behavior that has not changed. It's going to change for now, but they're not really putting in um, effort here to change or fix that or to straighten up something here, like, it's just really crazy, Pisces, like, the reunion, there may have some type of reunion, they may be coming towards you, wanting to be around you, friendship, love, emotions, and feelings here, but then it's like, they're still egotistic, they're still um, controlling, they're still um, trying to dominate the situation, control the situation, they may still have control issues, they may still be very, um, um, narcissistic, you guys, or prideful or something like that. They're still, you know, um, they may still have some type of player tendencies or player ways that's still happening here. Um, so they're coming towards you as if they want to have this reunion here with you. And they are coming towards you, friendship, love, reunion, taking you out, being around you, showing you all this emotional support or love, or maybe even showing you off or taking you out around certain people, but they have not changed. The behavior is going to remain the same here. Okay.
and they're wanting you i feel like this person is really wanting you to be optimistic about them they deep down inside they're trying to move towards something or transition to something better here with you um they're kind of like wanting to move past the some type of lie some type of deception they want to they, they want to convince you that they're different or the situation is different but there it doesn't look like anything is changing it feels like um, one thing is remaining the same that they still have the same behaviors and tendencies and they're going to go back to doing that They don't want to change. They don't want to fix that about themselves They don't feel like that needs to be fixed. They don't feel like that needs to be worked on Pisces. I mean, honestly They want you to think that they have released an ex they want you to think that they have released someone out of their energy You know, they really want you to think positive about something here about them um, about whatever it is that they may have um, was holding on to. I'm going to get one more card here. Give me one more card. It's like they want you to think that their energy has changed. Their ways or their energy has changed in some way. Give me one card here. What's the, okay. All right. Yeah. Healing family issues and romantic feelings. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this person is kind of like your love life benefits that you forgive your parents healing family issues that's what i'm saying you guys can have a family with this person i feel like this person may be trying to be like romance themselves back into your life they may be trying to like but it's all like a tactic it's a tactic here that they're using here you know trying to trying to get you to feel bring up feelings and emotions trying to get you to feel have feelings for them again they're trying to get you to um ooh, they're trying to get you to feel something that you felt for them But they're doing this like a player type of energy, okay? And if even if they have to do it just by like gifts or whining and dining you in some way, like, you know, like, but that doesn't mean that they're being loyal. And I feel like some of you guys don't know this, a situ this situation or the other person, maybe someone on their job or their career or someone that's in their career or their job field. 